Hello, my darling Fumi Nation. How are you? It's been a minute that we've had some kind of motivational, uplift kind of conversation. And today I want to talk about living the soft life. I know that it's been spurted around the internet and there have been so many different episodes on the soft life. But I wanted to give you my version of the soft life, having living the hard life prior. And I have learned through hard lessons. There are a couple of key things about living the soft life. And what are those? Stress-free. It is stress-free from your mind, from your spirit, from your body. It's you not taking negative energy from your workplace to your home. That is too much stress. And I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to break them down, how I got to living a wonderful, fabulous, soft life. It's a glamorous life. It is luxury that does not necessarily have to do with money. It's about putting you first. If I don't put myself first, I'm not a good friend. I'm not a good fumination mommy. I'm not. I'm not a good mother to Adrian. I'm not a good wife to Ula because my entire being is off kilter. It's disturbed and I cannot give my very best to all of you that need me. And I am so honored to be there and to give. Let me start with saying embracing your femininity. Embracing your femininity for me means that I get a little facial, I wash my hair, I get a pedicure. I cannot tell you how therapeutic it is to get up and get my makeup done. I cannot tell you how therapeutic that is to putting on makeup. I instantly feel good. I instantly feel confident. I for sure am ready when you guys pop up and I meet you all over London City. Anywhere in the world at this point. Because if I travel, I meet you from your different countries, different cities. And I feel a sense of confidence because I have makeup on. I am presenting my best self out there. Have you noticed that when you put on your makeup and you're looking nice, you even behave a certain way? You behave better because you realize how you look and the way you look, you must also match with the behavior and with your attitude. So when you're sitting down, your legs are folded, you have your bag, you have your hands just so, you're clean, you're tidy, you're looking nice. The way that you are admired by others is the way you admire other women that you see that are put together. And do you know opportunities open up for you? I've said it before, I'll say it again. We are in a very vain world. We love beauty. We love attractiveness. Every summer, every summer, I buy at least 10, 12 summer flowy dresses. It's easy. I can put it on. I can put my hair back, do a nice, beautiful, neutral eye, a nude lip, clean nails, beautiful sandals, take my little bag, and I can go out. You will feel better. When you feel better, then you act accordingly. You act better. It gives you that boost of confidence. And where you were not dressed and you're hiding and dodging all over the city, you're like, you know what? I'm dressed. I look okay. Let me go and see so, so, so about this job opportunity. Let me go and see this other person about, you know, starting a business. I look okay. Let me go. You're living the soft life. A soft life meaning that every day you are nurturing yourself to wonderful opportunities out there. While I'm on that topic, being open-minded is part of the soft life. If you restrict yourself, I can only marry this guy. I can only marry at this age. I can only marry somebody from my own town. No, I cannot go here. No, I don't want to do this. You are cutting yourself off literally and the girl behind you who was not half as fabulous as you will get the opportunity open up your mind 
and let the world open up to you. I cannot tell you, I cannot tell you how much has been opened up to me. As a matter of fact, that is why I'm living the life that I'm living right now. If I had decided not to go to the party, I wouldn't have met Ula. If I had decided that, you know what, for me, no, I don't want to try YouTube, I would never have any of this. I wouldn't have any collaborations. I wouldn't have met any of you guys. I wouldn't have had the confidence wherewithal to say, you know what, for me, you can start your own business. You can start your own brand. I would never have known how much you guys want mirrors, caftans, brass, because I would never have started YouTube. Facts. Open up your mind. Open up your mind and have the humility that you don't know everything. Ask. Soft life. Ask. You don't have to think about everything. If you don't know, Google is your friend. Number one. Secondly, you can ask somebody else. Open up a conversation. People are always open to helping, especially when they can see that there's potential to whom they're giving the advice. Ask is not a problem because it will fasten your pace to success. If you listen to all the successful people, they will tell you, I worked hard, one, but I did the research. Part of research is asking. Part of research is also going to go and find out information and educating yourself and empowering yourself. It comes to what? Finances. <laughs> Try to be self contained. Translation, try very hard as much as there are beautiful, gorgeous things out there. Live within your means so that your hand is what is not out there begging and asking and pleading and hoping. That is one. Secondly, it's so sexy to have money in the bank. To know that you know what, you're good. You could take care of yourself. You could take care of your kid. You and your man are okay. It's wonderful. Because that way, I tell you right now, you will be fabulously amazed at how you'll be in a position to pick and choose. No, I don't want to do that. It's too stressful. I don't really like or get along with this individual. I don't need the money. So I'll pass. Let me tell you something about California. A startup actor, you have three gigs. One movie that you are doing, one movie that you've already done and another movie that you have ahead of you. The money that you got from the first movie, you quickly go open a restaurant, dry cleaners, car wash business. Why? Because that money will give you the security for your mortgage, for your children, and it will allow you to pick and choose what films you intend to do in the future. And if you don't feel like doing nudity, you do not have to. Yes, my darlings, that's living the soft life. You want to show your body to your man and embrace and enjoy, let it be. It doesn't have to be by anybody giving you a check. Live within your means. You guys know, I love H&M, Zara. Can I afford to buy Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Balenciaga every day? Not necessarily, not necessarily. And I don't want to pretend to anybody. I'm not trying to impress anybody. I like my little, this was from H&M. Yeah. And you guys always ask me. On top of which, that's another thing. I wear H&M. I wear street fashion for a couple of reasons. When you guys ask me, I like to know that you guys can afford it. That I'm relatable. I'm your girl too. I also come from the world of fashion. I modeled for years. Trains are six months, round the clock. Six months, and they're out. So for you to buy an expensive item, they have to be timepieces. They have to be timeless, that they are absolutely timeless, that you can have that Chanel bag for 20 years. And if you keep it lovely and intact and contained and you take care of it, that you can still wear it for 20 years and even give it to your daughter, to your niece or whatever. But if you buy a highly trendy item, whatever it might be, then you are wasting your money because come the next season, they're out of fashion. And so that $5,000 that you spent 
has gone down the tubes because even if you sell it for second hand you're not getting your money back soft life save your money travel get a mortgage go for a course go for an extra class go for a master class i'll never forget i did that i went to ucla and it was the most amazing experience it was such great money well spent and i used my extra money because i used to do a lot of extra work and i would take that extra work money and i would pay for washing of my car paying for my rent and i took classes at ucla that is how you investing in yourself those are skills those are classes that's education that will only only empower and better your life as you go on talking about classes career i will strongly advise that you go ahead and do what you love irrespective of whatever your family or friends think when i started youtube what you're doing youtube you're doing youtube <laughs> I was deaf to the noise. I love acting. I love fashion, modeling, television, media. Always have. And I thought YouTube is all of that. Was it kind of sort of new at my age for people looking and saying, oh, I'm not too sure you should be established by now. It was what I loved. I hated retail. I hated it. It was so stressful. The managers, the area managers, it was a hot mess. I was living a hard life. I was bringing the stress from the store and the girls that were under me because I was a manager and they would have tantrums and they didn't want to work and all of this. And I would come home and I'd be like, Ula, oh my God, this is terrible. And Ula said, start YouTube, my darling. And so I would work the five days at Yves Saint Laurent and on the weekends I studied and I did YouTube. You cannot begin to imagine how many videos went into the trash but I did not let go. You have to be passionate and it cannot be about the money. You have to love it because when you love it it's not work, it's fun, it's curiosity, it's always learning every day. Nobody has to tell you, go to work. You don't wake up and you're like, oh my God. And then you are visually, mentally, how you're going to keep yourself zen. How you're going to take five bottles of Xanax so that you're not going to jump and kill your manager. That, my darlings, is not a soft life. <laughs> it is not. Alrighty. Next on my list, because I have a list here. Da, 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 da. Relationships. Let me start with friends. If you have some friends that are just frenemies, get rid of them. For the simple reason that you have to make room for the sisters that will empower you, that you will learn from, that will push you, that will encourage you, that are on the same path as you. You cannot have ne'er-do-wells. You cannot have lazy people. You cannot have haters. You cannot have people that are jealous of you. You cannot have people that God has given signs to you and said, this girl is not coming where you're going. Got to get rid of her you gotta get rid of her i just don't respond after a while when i kind of see who you are i don't respond i'm like girl you know what i've come off that train that train is taking you to god knows where but i'm not coming along sayonara my darling we had what we had when it comes to relationships the same thing you're with the guy for me oh my god he did this do you think <laughs> he loves me you're not living the soft life you're living the heartache life and you kind of sort of know the answer you just want me to stamp on it and say yeah get out darling keep the lines off of your face i'm 53 53 going on to 54 next year 55 the year after and i am not stressed about anything for sure not my age i'm loving my experience i'm loving my journey i'm loving the man that i'm with he's my best friend he's my lover my brother he makes me laugh he brings joy so much into my heart we hang out every day with our son these are people that just stimulate me in every way possible now when i look back 
I'm like, Fumi, you dodged the bullet with so many of these dudes up out here because you know I've told you, giving you story time and all of that. And then for my wives, my wives that are in marriages, living the soft life with your spouse, you should be honest about money. It's extremely important to be honest about money. It's also extremely important to have financial independence in your marriage. Ula has taken care of me from the moment, as a matter of fact, before I said I do, or was it? No, I think yes. Once he proposed and I said I do, he said for me, send me your bills because I was still in California while he was in Norway and he paid my rent and everything and he has always done so. But I realized that it was extremely important and I have an episode which I'll put down below that it was important that I was also financially stable. The good news here is that Ula shows all of his earnings, all of his money. I do the same thing too. He pays Adrian school fees. He takes care of the mortgage. I take care of the groceries and the little stuff in the house. But any monies is shown to him. To me, me to him, we share everything. Then we put stuff into savings. Then we always, always want to put stuff for Adrian and into his trust fund. But we always are transparent about money. I say this because I know that there are times where God said, no, you will buy something and you'll hide it from your husband. No. No, 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 no. I make a lot of jokes about it. I laugh about it or whatever. But I live that soft life. Honey, you know what? I want to get this dress. I really love it. And he'll be like, okay, fine. Having said this, I'm also reasonable. Because again, we are a family unit. So it's not that he has his money, I have my money. No, 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 no. Even though he makes more, much, much more, everything is laid out on the table and it goes into different channels. And most especially, as he has said, it goes to who needs it now, then, that, this, or whatever. That's exactly what it is. When Adrian had uh, hearing loss, straight away, we decided that we didn't want to wait for insurance or NHS. We self-funded right away. So we have savings. Do you see what I'm saying? Sometimes there's something going on in the family. You know what? This has to be taken care of. And I have come to realize that I like that way of living with my husband, the way my husband and I share money, talk about money. Everything is transparent. We know all the monies that come in together. It goes into the pot. Yes, it does. And then there we shelve off on mortgages, bills, school fees, Adrian, food for the house, this, da, 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 da. Then what do we have left? Then he will say, okay, fine. You know, I really saw this and I really love it, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Your birthday is coming up. Do you want that for your birthday? Okay. You know what? It's Father's Day. You know what? It's your birthday month because Ula's birthday is June. So he gets the entire month. My birthday is April. I get the entire month. I get treats. I can go out. I can do whatever. But still within reason. Why? Because we are on this ship and we are rowing and we don't leave any family member behind. And so it would be selfish of me if I dug a hole in the back that could sink us or I stop rowing, what about the other two family members that have been riding hard for you? Do you understand? There's a lot of transparency and I think it's because perhaps we married when we were older. So we had seen all these little mistakes that perhaps we had done and were seen with our friends and we just didn't like that. And so we lived that soft life where all monies, all monies in this home is absolutely transparent and we have a joint account. We have a joint account and then the other accounts is for savings and of course Adrian's trust fund and for da 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 and then we have an account where it's just direct, direct debits for all of the little bills and stuff like that. All the direct, that account is never touched. It's just money that's put in for all of the directs and then we have our savings and then we have our little daily pocket money. A friend is in town taking them out for lunch or whatever expenses and I like it. He doesn't tell me I can't get this, I can't get that. We talk about what we want for that month, what we are looking towards, and it absolutely works for us. So yes, that's another thing. You let me know how do you and your husband and your family handle finances in your home. But we have found that the soft life of sharing and being transparent works for us. <laughs>
because it's all about self. It comes back to self. You are the temple. You are the driver in the bus to this one life that you've got. Do we come back um, many times over to this world? I don't know. I'll have to die and come back to let you guys know that, yeah, you've got a second chance. But until then, all I know is that we have this one chance. Why would you want to stay with a man that does not treat you right? And when I tell you, you will know that he treats you right because you won't have to ask. You will not have to ask. I don't have to ask about Ula. Not at all. You have to show kindness. Yes, it's part of the soft life. Generosity, kindness, thoughtfulness, and politeness. When I go out, even if it's just a bunch of grapes, or it's yogurt, Ula's favorite yogurt, or Ula's favorite salad, I buy it. It's nice to be thoughtful because you show love and in return they are thoughtful about you. There's no time Ula goes out of here. Fumi, would you like a salad? Would you like a juice? And he buys it. I am wonderful with my staff, my gardener, my cleaning lady, my nanny. I give them their bonuses every summer, absolutely. And I get a top up, you know, and I talk to them. I ask them, how are you? How is your family? Even my driver, because I have a taxi driver service that I use all the time. And the last time when I spoke to him, he was in the hospital. And I was like, Mr. Abby, are you okay? What are you doing in the hospital? He said, oh my God, for me, can you imagine? Da, 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 da. And about two weeks later, I ordered a taxi for my parents because they came in to visit. And I said, Mr. Abby, how are you? How is everything? Because the last time we spoke, you were at the hospital. And we talked a little bit and he said, Fumi, you know what? We don't have any regular taxis, but you are my friend. I'm going to send the Mercedes over to pick up your mom and dad. Sometimes when my nanny comes, she's supposed to finish at six. But I've, if I've done everything, you know what, Monica, you can go. 4.35, not a problem. Why? Because on nights when I need her and I have like an evening event. Monica, can you come in and stay while I take care of Adrian? Absolutely for me, no problem, I'll stay with you. She'll come in the evenings, she'll pick up Adrian from nursery. She does things that make my life easy. Mr. Abby does things that make my life easy. My gardener will say for me, you know what, it's raining on that day. Let me come the day before and I'll get you plant pots. How about that? Cleaning lady, the same thing. Margarita, mwah, mwah, mwah. Should we come? Miss Fumi, you know, I'm going to come early because I want to get some cleaning stuff that you need. Don't worry about it. I'll get it for you. So I don't have to go to the supermarket. I can sit here chatting with you guys, enjoying and embracing my soft life. I have learned to be humble. I have learned that you have to show kindness to other people. And that when you go out, be presentable. When we go to the restaurant, don't we love the beautiful tablecloths? Don't we love the wallpaper and the decorations? Don't we love to see beautiful people? Really and truly, don't we? Well, that's you. Do you understand? So everything that you put to yourself and you in turn give out comes back to you. Anytime you're in any kind of confrontation, as mad as you might be, as angry as you might be, walk away, don't respond. You're above it. That's just what it is. You see this trauma and Caroline thing that they had, for those of you that know that I review Real Housewives of Lagos, the last, actually the finale, they had this big blowout at the pool. I would have just jumped in the pool and swam, or I would have gone to my room. I'm in Dubai, life is short, I should be going shopping, I should be going to museums, go to art galleries. These are things that you do because why? You should also treat yourself. And you think treating yourself with money, that's good, you can buy one or two expensive things. But do you know what I consider luxury? An hour to myself. Getting a manicure, getting a pedicure, when Ula and I went to uh, Paris, we went to the Louvre, go to museums. I love to go to fabric markets. Ula loves to take pictures. He'll go into the forest and he'll just be zen and take pictures. It's such a stress relief, luxury way of getting yourself out of the hustle and bustle and just enriching yourself with culture and knowledge. 
talking about cultural knowledge, sometimes we fall into problems. Do not stress. Do not stress. Do not stress. Do not stress. Would you know that I have problems? You would think I don't. <laughs> but I do. All of us have problems. There's not a single person on the face of this green earth that doesn't have problems. There are people that want to get married. There are people that want to have children. There are couples that are going through IVF. There are couples that have special needs children. There are people that want to lose weight. There are people that have lost their mother, their father, one thing or the other. Just the other day, because it was Father's Day, I was reading a uh, Diddy who was celebrating his father. And I just found out that his father was killed when he was three years old. So here is Diddy who, you know, he dances, he has fun, he has all of these wonderful, beautiful children, and he lost his father at three years old. What I want you to know is that all of us have problems. It's how we handle them that separates us from the stressed and the stress-free. You do as much as you can to sort out the problem, and then you let it go. Why? Because the problem will be solved eventually and it is there for a reason and every single time when there's a stumbling block for me i always say what did i miss god what did i miss what did i miss because now that now that i'm in my 50s i'm now very solidly confident that there's something he's trying to tell me and it doesn't reveal itself right away so if i find that there's nothing i can do about it I leave it. I don't let it infect my present day or all the other beautiful things and blessings that I have. It's an isolated problem. It will be figured out. It will sort itself out. But for me, go ahead and enjoy yourself. Go ahead and enjoy the holiday. Remember when I was saying also that I had lost my Cartier watch in Miami. I was so upset that it spoiled my holiday at Miami. No, it didn't spoil my holiday in Miami. I spoiled my time in Miami because I masked everything because of that watch. I could not and refused to enjoy my time in Miami. Looking back now, I wish I had did because I must have stayed about three, four days inside the hotel room crying, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It was a waste of time. I should have gone out there swimming and enjoying the beach and so forth. So when there are issues, when there are problems, don't let it overwhelm you. Don't let it be a helicopter spinning. Bzzz, <laughs> bzzz, bzzz, all over your life. It's a waste of time. Time that you will not get back. Okay? Okay, let me see my list here. Mm -mm 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 yes, frenemies, we've talked about that. Yes, be true to who you are. Translation, if you are people pleasing, you're wasting your time. Because as much as you try to please whomever, they will never be satisfied. You are backing up the wrong tree. These people you're trying to please are not your people. You have to show a certain way or continuously make an extra effort to get their attention. That's too much energy, mama. That is carrying five pounds on your back for no reason at all. No reason at all. So you let that go and be who you are. Be comfortable in your own skin. Like what you like. Love what you love. Love the music. Love the quirky fashion. Go where you want to be. You are not in a team. You are who you are. I am FDV. I am FDV. There's nobody like me. I am unique just as you are. And I embrace the uniqueness. And I embrace the talent and the gifts and the way that I am. The way God created me as well in my mind. The way that I think. The way that I, you know, process things. Enjoy who you are. Only you know how fabulous you are. Embrace it. Enjoy it. And laugh at yourself at the funny things that you do. And that is why I say spend time on your own each day. I love Ula so very much. I love the way Ula and I are raising Adrian. And it's Ula that puts Adrian to bed every night. And that allows me what? From 7.30 to 9.30, time to myself. I can work out. I can go for a walk. 
I can watch an episode, I can have a lovely drink, I can do anything. It's my time to take in the entire day. What I was able to do today, what I didn't do, I love that. And for those of you that want to embrace a beautiful soft life, have a routine, have a schedule, have a calendar. Put all of this stuff that you want out there onto your weekly calendar, onto your monthly calendar, and that is a guide. And you will be so proud of yourself on how much you're able to achieve. Wake up early in the morning and go out there and exercise. And exercise for me is moving. It does not mean that you have to be beating yourself like a drum in the gym. <laughs> no. You can casually come down from the bus stop, a stop shorter than your actual bus stop, and take a walk. And you can have a morning walk to work, and you can have an evening walk home. It's about exercising. It's about moving. Exercise can be fun. You make it fun. It should not be tedious. No, I have my treadmill. I jump on my treadmill maybe three, four times a week. Apart from that, I'll say, you know what? Let me walk down to the shops and I'll walk back and I'll buy some water for the house. I'll buy some stuff that maybe Adrian needs. I always need wipes in the house. Maybe I'll go and get that. Or I'll go just through the countryside. But you get up and you move around. And once you start to see yourself moving around, you also treat yourself to say, you know what, let me eat a little healthier. It'll make you feel better. You look good in your clothes. It's important. It's so important to have good exercise, good eating habits, good sleeping habits, and laughing and smiling and being around positive people and doing what you love. I mean, right there, that's the luxury. That's the luxury of life. It's so priceless. It's what you have to entertain and curtail for yourself. And that is when you begin to understand that, you know what? I am kind of sort of enjoying my life. I'm kind of sort of enjoying my life. I enjoy my life. I enjoy my best friend, Christina. I enjoy my husband, my son. I love what I do. I keep on repeating it for you to understand that this is easily attainable, but we are the ones that make it difficult. I need the money, so let me stay in this job. No, what it means is that you're going to work a little bit extra for a period of time so that you can make the transition from one to the next. By the time that I had gotten fired, yes, from YSL, I never took another job. The irony of it all is that YSL sent me PR. Ain't that something? <laughs> Don't be influenced by others. That's their time. That's their stage in life. Don't be influenced by them. And don't take too much to heart what other people say about you because you will not live. You will not live. Their limitations about you is actually about them live the soft life take it with a pinch of salt smile say thank you and just do what you gotta do i had a wonderful uncle i love him and i miss him very much uncle dear me he was fabulous quiet and um you could give him all the advice and he would smile and he'll go right ahead and he will do whatever he wanted to do. <laughs> he won't even confront you with anything. But you knew. You absolutely knew. He was one of the first people that I actually identified as living the soft life. But I didn't know it was the soft life at the time. He worked hard, but he loved what he did. He made a lot of money. He had a fabulous swimming pool. And he would just chill out and smile and do whatever he wanted to do. That was just really who he was. And he did exactly what worked for him. And I realized very early on from him, you have to have that mental, emotional freedom from people around you. 
Because if you rely on them from their opinions, you won't live. You won't live the life that God has given you. You won't live half the life that God has given you. If I had listened to people, oh, you can't marry a white guy. Oh, you can't do YouTube. Oh, you can't this. Oh, you can't be an actress. Oh, you can't, you can't be this, da, 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 da. I can't imagine what kind of life I would be living right now. I don't listen to anybody. Absolutely not. Their advice is good for them. And that's another thing. You think everybody's put together. Everybody's struggling. Everybody's still trying to figure out this life. Even me. I can only go by what I've done and say, all right, it kind of sort of works. Let me keep up with that MO. Being a parent for the first time, I'm figuring it out. Being a wife for the first time, you figure it out. And you go along. And as you go along, you begin to understand and you learn. But there are key components in here. That man that you call a husband, he got to love your dirty drawers. He's got to love you, want to be with you, be patient with you, support you, and you have to do in return. So you've got to be polite and generous and kind because you're going to get all of that back to you. Last but not least, my beautiful darlings, buy the dress. If you love that dress, buy it. You deserve it. Treat yourself. Kiss yourself. And enjoy it. And know that if you can't afford the dress, the happiness doesn't lie in the dress. The happiness lies in the freedom that, yes, you can afford the dress, but you choose not to because you've got other responsibilities. That's the soft life. I've been living the soft life since I met Ula. Since I met Ula, since I had that partner. And um, I realized that there are a hundred different ways that I could have done things in the past, but I have no regrets because it has ultimately led me to where I am now. So I want to wish you guys lots and lots of luck. You are doing great. I don't think we get to praise ourselves enough. So I'm going to say that to you. You're doing amazing. You're doing better than you think. And tomorrow is another day. Work hard at what you are passionate about. Love what you do. The money will always come. And it's the freedom that the money gives you. That's what the money is there for. It's not the things that you buy because they are things. They can get lost. They can get stolen. You give them away. It's the freedom to ultimately be who you are and live the life that you've always wished for. The ultimate soft life. <laughs> Don't forget to like, to subscribe, for sure to subscribe, as well as to share. I was talking to a YouTube representative the other day, and I'm going to put the statistic up, and I was shocked. <laughs> she was telling me that, Fumi, you're kind of at a million subs. And I was so shocked because I was like, ah, uh, what's going on? I haven't checked my numbers. What's going on? And come to find out, I think about 30 odd percent of my Fumi Nation are subscribed, while 60% are not. Can you imagine? So I could be easily at a million subs. So guys, come on, come on through. Help this sister out. Let this 50 fabulous something get to a million followers, at least because I know we Fumi Nation, we are fabulous. Because that way we can go on to go on tour, we can do our meet and greets, we can do so many fabulous things. I live for you guys, for me nation. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And I will be what? I'll be back soon. Do we love? Do we live? I live. I love. Always. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>